tutorial, I'm going to walk you through a quick way how to draw the primary vesicles of brain development. Um, you're here with Dennis, and I hope you enjoy. So right here, you have the first structure of the three primary vesicles, which is an embryo phrase. And uh, this one right here is called the forebrain, which is known as the proencephalon. And I'll make it a little bit fancy so you can um, go along with it. And the midbrain, which is known as the mesencephalon. And then the last one is the hindbrain, which is known as the rhombencephalon. Alright, now if you go over here, those three primary vesicles then turn into five secondary vesicles. And this is how it goes. The forebrain, the proencephalon, then turns into the telencephalon. And the diencephalon. The mesencephalon, it just stays at the mesencephalon. And then the robencephalon turns into the metencephalon and the myencephalon. I'm going to go in and uh, add some color so you can kind of follow the chart. And you guys can do this at home. What you can do is just uh, copy and paste the image below and um, put it into a paint program. All right. Now, let's uh, keep it like that. And... Uh, what I'll show you is about what each and every uh, vesicle does. So let's starting with the first one, the telencephalon. Oh. The telencephalon, which is right here, and you follow it into there, has all factory bulbs olfactory lobes, sorry about that, which is used for smell. It also has hippocampus, which is used for memory storage, and cerebrum, which is for association, also known as intelligence. And then now we'll go into the diencephalon. The first one is the optic vesicle. Which is for vision. And it's associated with the retina. The second one is the epithalamus. Show you with the penile gland, and then the thalamus, which is a relay center, and 
for optic and auditory neurons. And then the last one is the hypothalamus. which controls temperature sleep and breathing regulation and that's kind of like a lighter orange and the mesencephalon of course which is the midbrain has fiber tracks between the anterior and posterior brain. And optic lobes and techno. Then the metencephalon, it has two. It has a cerebellum, cerebellum, which is for coordination of complex muscular movements. And it has pons, which is for fiber, tracks between the cerebrum and cerebellum and it's in mammals only Then last is a myencephalon, which consists of the medulla, reflex, center of involuntary activities. And that concludes it. Um, thank you for watching. Take care. Enjoy. I hope you learned something.